Okay, back in. Let's just develop this night. Let's capture. Push the pawn up as we do. Let's develop. Let's get ready for Kingside Castle in. Okay. And Castle. He seems to have a cluster of pieces with his bishops in his knight already in the center. Queen move. You see Queenside Castling looks like he's going Queenside Castling to me. Let's capture this. Get it out of the way. Let's attack this bishop. It's not protected. If he forgets himself, we can grab it. He's taking his time, so it looks like they're going to be taking... Oh, okay, opening up the pawn. So he's not queenside castling them. Okay, let's face off their king. He's queenside castled. Interesting. So that gives us a little bit of a gap to actually attack. He does have a bit of a force in this centre, so I think I'm going to make space to see if we can um, fake it till we make it sort of thing. Attack his queen at King Gary. So he's actually coming down with some force with his knight now, so... There is a gap, it's just that the queen can't go to the A5, H, A5 yet, because his queen is defending that area. But our bishop could go in the corner. <laughs> some sort of stealth move, I'm going to fake it. I'm going to put the bishop in the corner with the idea of the queen kind of like sitting <laughs> right in front on B2 somehow. I don't think I'm going to get there because his knight's blocking that area. But the rook can go through and take this pawn because this pawn's got no protection on. And it's basically putting a fictitious threat upon the opponent. Okay, so we could have actually grab the pawn. And we could always come back and attack his queen if we wanted to. Because I don't think we're going to get to the b2. So I might as well just bring the rook through and attack his queen. If he moves we can take his rook. That type of thing. Oh no! Yes! Well, we got the queen. And now that's what I call faking it till we make it. It's pretty similar to the previous game. <laughs> oh dear. A little bit of a swindle going on there. Let's have a look. Yeah, they had quite a bit of um, pressure in the center of the board at the beginning of the game. So I don't actually know what happened there. I don't think we were winning at all. It felt like um, I was behind a few tempi. Let's have a look, see what the gauge bar is saying. So we developed, brought the bishop through as we do. Nothing out of the ordinary. King saved his key. We grabbed, they grabbed, we attacked, and they defended. We captured. So slight advantage at the minute. Oh, so the cluster wasn't working for them. So we had advantage. And then did we flop here? Ooh, it doesn't like that bishop move. I couldn't see anything else really. Oh, mind you, I could have basically taken the pawn, couldn't I, with the rook, I suppose. That's probably what it's saying. So it's why it's in an advantageous position at the minute. But I, I genuinely couldn't see it from here. I thought we can fake this quite easily. I wanted to get the queen here, but the queen obviously is defending. So I wanted my queen to go sitting in front of the king, as we mentioned. Putting a book, basically a checkmate type situation almost on there, yeah. But that didn't happen, but we grabbed through. And um, it's given us an advantage now, so it looks like we're taking advantage of it a little bit. Yeah. And they've crumbled under the pressure. Nice game.